Namaste. Seeing demand of English edition of this two minutes astrology tutorial, I am happy to bring it in English. In this course, we will focus on predictions and not calculations. For calculations and making free birth chart, you can go to AstroSage Cloud at www.astrosage.com. AstroSage Cloud is very comprehensive astrology software and you will get all astrological calculations there. Coming back to astrology, whole astrology is based on 9 planets, 12 signs, 27 nakshatra or constellations and 12 houses. The basis of all predictions is the relation of all these factors with each other. Let's start with understanding planets. There are 9 planets. Here I am telling the names of planets in Sanskrit as well apart from English. Even if we are learning astrology in English, knowing Hindi and Sanskrit names will prove helpful going forward. So try to memorize these names in Sanskrit as well. First planet is Sun. Sun is known as Surya or Ravi in Sanskrit. Second is Moon known as Chandra in Sanskrit. Third is Mars known as Mangal or Bhom in Sanskrit. In South India it is also known as Kuj. Fourth is Mercury or Buddha in Sanskrit. Fifth one is Jupiter, Guru or Brahaspati in Sanskrit. Sixth is Venus that is Shukra in Sanskrit. Seventh being Saturn and it is called Shani in Sanskrit. Eighth is North Node and Rahu in Sanskrit. Last being South Node which is called Ketu in Sanskrit. In Sanskrit correct word is Graha which is roughly translated to planet in English. Graha means that influences. You can see that this definition is not based on the revolution around sun which is taught in schools nowadays and hence should not be confused. Astrological meaning of planet is different from the astronomical definition. According to modern astronomy, sun is considered as a star and not planet. Moon is satellite and Rahu Ketu are mathematical nodes we can say. As per Vedic astrology, sun, moon, Rahu, Ketu all these are grahas because they influence us. This is all I have for today. Namaste.